Hi YouTube, this is the first in a series of videos on Calculus 3. In this video we're going to focus on what's called vectors in the plane. So vectors in the plane. By the plane we mean the xy plane. So if v and usually when you write vectors, you're supposed to put like a little line here. Okay, so uh, sometimes I'll put the arrow, sometimes I won't, but it's supposed to be there. So if V is a vector, whose initial point, whose initial point is zero, zero, so the origin, and terminal point, terminal point is, say, parentheses, v sub 1, comma, v sub 2, then, then we say that v, given by angle bracket v1, comma, v2, angle bracket, is the component form of the vector v. So is the component form, component form of v. So if you have a vector uh, that's written in, in this way, we say it's written in component form. And these guys here, so v1 and v2, these guys here, are, these are called the components. Components. You can think of the first one as x and the second one as y. Uh, we're just being a little bit more general here uh, when we call them v1 and v2. So let me give you a picture so you see what's going on. So here's the pick. So here we have the uh, y-axis and here we have the x-axis. So x, y. And then maybe um, this is the initial point and then this is the what's called the terminal point so this point here would be v1 comma v2 and so our vector uh, would look something like this okay and that would be our vector v so you could say v in this case is the vector whose first component is v1 and second component is v2 uh, since the initial point here is at the origin I did that on purpose um, then we say that our vector is in standard position. So um, this is a vector in standard position because the initial point is the origin. Okay, so let me go ahead and write that down. So since the initial point is the origin, we say the vector is in standard position. We say the vector is in what's called standard position. So standard, standard position. Okay, lots of lots of terminology, but it's good stuff. It really, really is. It really, really is. Um, just a quick aside, um, or just another remark actually. Um, the vector with initial point zero zero and terminal point zero zero is called the zero vector. So note uh, the vector with initial point and terminal point zero zero so the initial point is the same as the terminal point and they're both zero zero uh, is called the zero vector it's a very important vector uh, in calculus 3 and in mathematics is called the zero is called the <laughs> zero vector Okay, we're going to use it a lot, and the notation for the zero vector um, is a zero. All right, it's a zero, but since it's a vector, we put a line with an arrow above it. And the first component of the zero vector is zero, and the second component of the zero vector is also zero. So a very, very special vector uh, in the world of vectors. Let's look at another picture that's going to prove to be useful, especially later on if you're trying to understand um, the derivations of some of the formulas in Calculus 3. So 
a, a worthy picture. So consider, consider the following picture. Okay, say we have a vector here. Starts here and uh, ends here. So I'll connect the dots and draw the vector. And say the uh, initial point here, in this case, we'll call it P. And I'll say the components of P are P1, P2. So it's, it's not a vector, sorry, I said components. The coordinates of P. So the x-coordinate of the point P is P1. The y-coordinate is P2. Then here we have another point Q. This is our terminal point. And the, and the coordinates of this point are Q1, Q2. So this is the initial point here. So P is the initial point. Initial point. And Q is the terminal point. Terminal point. Okay, so we have a vector with initial point P and terminal point Q. Okay, and the idea is this. To find our vector V, here's the thinking you want to go through in your head. V is always going to be, I'm going to put this in quotes, it's always terminal, terminal minus initial. You can always do that every single time, all day long, right? Terminal minus initial, terminal minus initial. So more, more formally, to find the vector V, what you do is you take the terminal, so Q1 minus P1, so you subtract the first components, okay? So Q1 minus P1, and then you subtract the second components. So Q2 minus P2. You can always do that. So Q2 minus P2, okay? And that gives you a vector, right? And this is V1 comma V2. So we're saying that this here is V1 and this here is V2. This is super useful, okay? Extremely, it kind of emphasize how useful this thinking is. So if you ever have an initial point and a terminal point, um, it's always terminal minus initial to get, to get the vector, to get the vector. All right, there's a couple, couple formulas. Sometimes we're interested in finding uh, what's called the length of the vector. So the length, it's also called the norm, okay? It's also called the magnitude, so lots of names for the same thing. So the length, norm, length, norm, slash magnitude of a vector, let's call our vector V. And component form, it would be, uh, I suppose, uh, V1 comma V2 is. And what you do is you write these two double bars, and you put the V here, double bars. And it's the square root of the components squared. So V1 squared plus V2 squared. Okay, That's the, the length norm or the magnitude of uh, a vector. If the magnitude is 1, or if the norm is 1, or if the length is 1, depending what you want to call it. So if you have a vector with magnitude 1, whenever that happens, okay, whenever that happens, uh, you have, uh, then V is a unit vector. Then V is a unit vector. Really important. And the reason it's important is because unit vectors are nice, right? Um, Whenever you have one as the magnitude, it simplifies uh, the formulas, right? Simplifies them tremendously, tremendously. So uh, let's just do a really simple example of uh, computing, uh, computing the magnitude. Just a simple, simple problem. Say we have uh, the vector uh, v equals uh, one comma two. So in this case, if we wanted to find the magnitude. Uh, what we would do is we would just square the components and take the square root. So the magnitude of v in this case, it's the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, So you just do uh, 1 uh, plus 4. And so you get the square root of 5. And that would be the magnitude. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and make another one uh, just to keep the videos a little bit short. And then we'll continue our discussion of vectors in the plane. Thanks for watching.